I'm Colin Scott, uh, I'm in the Department of Anthropology uh, also, and uh, I've worked um, uh, in a couple of uh, world areas, uh, mainly uh, northern Quebec uh, with James Bay Crees, and uh, also uh, northern Australia with uh, a Melanesian indigenous group uh, in Torres Strait uh, near Papua New Guinea. We're, we're involved uh, as a team, I'm, I'm a principal, principal investigator on, currently on a uh, CURA grant, Community University Research Alliances grant, with um, uh, James Bay Cree communities in uh, self-defined protected areas. And they're working out for themselves, you know, what should be the balance for our territory between industrial development, uh, environmental protection, uh, uh, alternative forms of development such as cultural tourism or ecological tourism and the balance that they envision is a very different balance uh, from the way that it comes down politically in the south even though as John has found there's a general embrace of the notion of a, some sort of general notion of development that it's possible to devise better lives for ourselves um, and that's what they I mean, that's an indigenous conception of development as opposed to a development agency uh, conception of development. Um, one, one sort of small example that, that we, we are seeing with many indigenous peoples is how eagerly they have um, got on to GIS, geographic, geographic information systems. They want to control these things because their understanding is that information about our territory uh, they, they, they can relate very quickly to the, that kind of visual depiction of, of places and, and territories. And they understand there's power attached. Uh, and they don't want government offices to be the places where there are repositories of detailed information about their ter territory. They want, they want it under their control. And, and this is, in fact, putting them in a stronger position to negotiate with uh, corporations as well as governments uh, when it comes to uh, development options for their for their lands.